all represents moment i represents moment of inertia then e all square by 2i represents you have to remember like rotational kinetic energy is equals to half i omega squared then you can write i omega into i omega by 2i you have to remember the formula like l equals to i omega then you get l square by 2i question number two we have starting from mean position of particle is executing simple harmonic motion takes t1 and t2 to cover first half and next half displacement is moving from mean from extreme position then then y equals to r sin omega t1 equals to r sin omega t2 r by 2 that is half option b is the answer that is t2 equals to 2 times t1 t2 equals to 2 times t1 1 by 2 equals to sine 2 pi by t into t1 that is that you'll get t1 equals to t by 12 that is equation a and again y equals to r sine 2 pi by t t2 plus pi by 2 then again you will do the same process and you will get t2 equals to t by 6 then t1 from equation a and b t1 equals to t by 12 then you will get t2 equals to 2 times t1 t2 equals to 2 times t1 question number 3 we have to use the formula of continuity that is equation of continuity your area volume and second area is given you have to use that pi d square by 4 as r equals to d by 2 then you will get a1 b1 by a2 equals to 2 pi d square by 4 into 12 by 2 into 2 into d square by 4 into 2 pi then you'll get b2 equals to 12 by 4 that is 3 meter per second and idle and idle gas and idle gas ratio of heat caps it is 5 by 3 at 72 degrees expanded adiabatically to 8 times its original volume approximate rise in temperature of the gases is 259 kelvin Op option c is the answer that is 259 kelvin you have to remember like for adiabatic expansion you have tv gamma minus 1 equals to constant then you can write t1 b1 gamma minus 1 equals t2 b2 gamma minus 1 where gamma is 5 by 3 then you can just substitute the value and get the value of t2 as 86.25 kelvin or again the rise in temperature equals to 345 kelvin minus 86.25 kelvin a Carnot cycle includes two isothermal and two adiabatic process. Option A is the answer. Option A is the answer. Two isothermal and two adiabatic process. Option A is the answer. The intensity of sound I and amplitude of vibration are related as intensity is directly proportional to square of its amplitude intensity is directly proportional to square of its amplitude option b is the answer question number seven we have to find the d d means distance between crystal or monochromatic light that is equals to one by number of lines you get 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter then you can simply use the formula d equals to d sin theta equals to n lambda then you substitute the value then you get n equals to 4.16 that is nearly equals to 4 it cannot be in decimal option b is the answer 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 above curie temperature of ferromagnetic substance become paramagnetic or ferromagnetic substance becomes paramagnetic option a is the answer if the EMF of thermocouple one junction of which is kept at 0 degrees Celsius is given by equals to a theta plus half b theta square than the neutral temperature, you have to simply remember 
that at neutral temperature is maximum that is you have to do derivative d by d theta equals to zero then if you do derivative you'll get a plus b theta equals to zero then theta equals to minus a by b position number 10 we have power factor means cos phi cos phi equals to 0 0.5 means cos 60 degree that is cos phi equals to cos 60 degree that is phi equals to 60 degree 60 degree means in a photoelectric cell the relationship between cut off voltage and frequency of incident light is best described by option c b naught versus b option c is the answer option c is the answer if you have any problem in mathematics you can watch this video these are very helpful thank you thank you